So let's do a little sequence, Desi. Please come to the front of your, your mat. From standing, we're going to step back. So first, earth position, use your breath. Exhale, bend the knees, settle into the moment. With the radiant heart and the central channel long, up to the top of the head, inhale, dig drag, right foot up, and slowly step back, high lunge. Pulsate, exhale, stretch the arms forward as your hips go back. Inhale and go up. Exhale, hips back and arms forward. Inhale, the whole central channel long. One more, sitting back and rising. On the next inhalation, transition back to earth position. So in the transition, the foot, as you step, the ankle was active, very good. Radiant heart is maintained throughout. So there's always this lightness in every transition. Use the breath again, please. And inhale, dig, drag, left foot up. Exhale, sit back. Touch the floor, high lunge. That's right, and breathing and pulsing. That's right. Keeping radiant heart, expand out through the arms. Sitting back on exhale, inhale, and rising. Uh, for the transition, push off. Use your inhale and get a springiness in the foot and rise through the central channel back to earth position. To transition to a wide stance, do one foot at a time. Sit down, step wide, step wide. Notice her feet don't have to lift up so high. The toes are soft. She's still doing the ABCs of the feet. The ankles are active. To bend forward to touch the floor, keep the belly long. So in the transitions, you have to maintain radiant heart and the belly long. Fingernails touch. So to transition even to touch the floor, very mindful. Now, before we even go all the way down, let's transition all the way back up. Inhale, the ribs lift, the central channel stays long, belly is long. Put one finger on your navel, one finger on the base of your sternum. Exhale and then round. Go ahead and close so you feel what that feels like, okay? Inhale, open, the radiant heart is full, the central channel is long, and you can feel that. You have to maintain that in the transition to bend forward. So throughout this even forward bend, to touch, step back, crouching cat, that place of the upper belly is long. The solar plexus stays long. When you're even moving in a pulsation in the cat, you don't lose the length at all. To transition from cat to just even coming down to all fours, inhale, lengthen forward, bring your neck even over your hands, the ribs stay full, don't change that, just exhale, lower the knees, keeping the groins back and the tailbone up. She goes to hero foot, hero foot, and nothing changed in the upper back, the transition was smooth. Go back from all fours to crouching cat. You transition from one pose to the other, but the actions are maintained. That's the bowspring method. The hollows on every part, you check the arms. The hollows are not lost in the elbows. The armpits are not lost. You can do twisted cat. You can turn, tipping the head, and you're still actively toning. Take the right leg up. Transition, hold the right leg with the right hand. That's right. And pulsate. Open the belly, open the throat. Really good. Good. Slowly release the hand, bring the fingernails down, transition back. We're going to go the other way. You've, you've maintained the length of the belly, you've maintained the length of the tail. Twisted cat, other side. There, there you go. Then open leg left, and with your left hand, you can hold the shin. You're transitioning even to a one-arm balancing position here, but the ribs stay full. The neck and the belly are still bowed. There you have, you have exactly the same alignments as we've gone over in the previous lessons. 
Look at the ankles. They're active. Bowspring. Maintain the bowspring as you now release. Fingernails touch again. It's a mindful sequence. Touching. The foot touches the floor the same way. Twisted cat to the right. Seated side twist. Left hip touches. Transition the other way. All the way back up. Walk back, now walk your hands back toward the legs without shortening your belly. So to transition, to go from crouching cat up to a recovery pose while you're standing, it's very typical to lose the belly, to deflate in the transition.